Hey Leo, this is your reading for May of 2022. I recorded your reading first and it must have gotten deleted. So we're here doing this again. So the beginning of May here, you have the Nine of Swords, you have the King of Cups, you have the Seven of Pentacles and the High Priestess. Now I know that I've been talking a lot about being in a waiting period and the stagnation energy as to things just aren't coming to fruition right now. But for this one, I feel as though with the Nine of Swords, it's time to take a break of worrying about external forces. So anything that you are trying to figure out or manifest outside of yourself just needs to take a little bit of a break in the very beginning of May. You got the King of Cups with the Seven of Pentacles, so with the High Priestess. So I feel like this is more of a time for you to connect to your intuition, to really get clear of who you are and what you want in your lifetime. And also to, they're just like showing me a pen to a paper. So definitely writing things out, strategically planning, but this is all within yourself here, okay? So this isn't about going out and implementing. This is more about sitting still, still, <laughs> even though it feels like months of waiting. It is coming your way here towards the end of May, but you have to get clear on what you want before you take the leap of faith down here with the full card. So definitely listening to your intuition, but in order to do that, we have to be silent. We have to be quiet. We can't have too many people around us. We can't have too many um, people giving us different ideas. We have to kind of quiet our mind and try to tap into our intuition with this, okay? In the middle of the month here, we have the Five of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, the Sun card, which is you, the Two of Wands, and the Five of Swords. Now, feeling left out in the cold here in the middle of the month, you're working towards something very powerful is the word that I'm getting with this, the Sun card. I feel as though you're healing from something that somebody either stabbed you in the back, betrayed you, abandoned you, uh, was sh shady to you. And I feel as though you've got two different ways to go with this Two of Wands, but you've got the sun right before it. So I feel like you are working towards something here, but this is like a lingering thing that is still happening for you. So somebody definitely stabbed you in the back and you get to choose whether you're going to hold on to that or if you're going to kind of let that go. You don't have to forgive them, right? I don't teach forgiveness. I only teach letting go. So letting that go for you. And allowing you to move on to a new route, a new path as to taking care of yourself. And they're connecting me back to this High Priestess card here. So it's really about listening to your intuition and removing the human mind that wants to, you know, a lot of, a lot of women that I work with when we're dealing with narcissism is basically we want to show them how much they were wrong. They want to, we want to show them how much they hurt us, but that's not going to do you good here. So we have to let go of whatever this person did to you. And because it's only hurting you, they're not going to care, especially if they're a narcissist, they don't care. So therefore, they only care about themselves and what they want, and they're not going to care that they hurt you at all. So it's not worth your time trying to explain it or trying to get them to see what you're saying. That is only going to hurt you and hinder you in a way. And I feel like that's going to push you backwards instead of allowing you to move forward towards the end of the month here. You have the Ace of Wands, a brand new beginning. You have the Fool, another brand new beginning. This is about you taking the leap of faith, moving forward um, without judgment. I don't know. I'm hearing like without honesty as well. So like if, if this person wasn't honest with you, it's like you're never going to get that honesty. So move forward is what I'm getting there. Three of pentacles here. You're working towards this and giving yourself this opportunity. So you have to allow yourself to move past whatever this is, the stabbed in the back, and allow this new beginning to happen because... Most most of the reason why this happened was that this person needed to leave your life in order to continue on your own journey, on your correct path, because this person was just a piece of it, had to do this to you in order to allow you to get angry, get mad, um, you know, get revengeful, whatever it is to give you some energy. I just feel like an energy boost and energy rise even if it's anger anger i love anger because that's telling me like you're ready you're ready for this change because you're angry that this happened you don't want this ever to happen again so now it's the change that is going to be created okay and you're working towards this and you're giving yourself this opportunity i'm gonna pull three more cards just to see what else what other messages yes nine of cups this is your wish card so everything that you've been wishing for i feel as though it's taking a different energy so whatever you have been trying to manifest in your life 
It is calling for a different energy inside of yourself. So a different vibration, like I said, uh, coming from anger and resentment and like just wanting to push through and, and like be successful or get into a new relationship that's actually one that you actually love and, and are cherished in. Six of Swords, letting go. The Five of Wands, conflict. So this is a little bit conflicted in your mind and also in your heart, they're telling me. So, you know... You want to let go, but sometimes it's hard because of what you had with the person. You have the Queen of Pentacles here. So this is the energy you're moving into. This is the energy that the universe is pushing you into. Allowing yourself to manifest what you want whenever you think about it. Instead of feeling trapped or blocked because of lower vibrations around you. So allowing you to really sit in your energy. You know, connect to your higher self. Connect to this high priestess here. And really see the power that you have inside. And like not taking any shit from anybody else. Because if this is a constant cycle that you've had, this has been holding you back this whole time. So it's time to shift you into a different vibration, a different energy, a different mindset. So that you can have this brand new beginning and you can take this. The Fool is the, is the first part, is the first card of the Major Arcana in Tarot. Which means that this is the beginning of your journey. It is a brand new journey. And this had to happen so that you know that this is time to leave all of this other stuff behind and to go a different way and to go a different path. Okay, I hope that resonates with you. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if it does. And I will see you guys next month. Much love. Bye.